Damn. This looks freaking beautiful. Dude, okay. What's going on, everybody? My name is Rev. This is the first time I've seen the new tutorial. And uh, holy moly, I'm kind of blown away by that artwork. And holy, this is so much better already. Anyway, that made me feel things. My name is Rev. I'm going to be doing a full playthrough. It's my first time on the new tutorial. I've already said this like twice, but we're going to be going through. I'm going a, I'm to a go through everything. This is my first time experience on all of this content. And so I'm excited to, to see what's going on. But as we go through, I'm going to be going over the uh, tips and tricks that I have. as well as um, just general information as we keep going. We're going to be going th at my own pace. And so, you know, this is going to be a little bit more um, relaxed. And so if this is more your speed and what you're into, then uh, yeah. Now, the tutorial for the most part seems to be the same. You're just fighting an Asher. Now, um, just follow the tips that the tutorial have. But one thing that I doubt the tutorial will tell you is try and get as many parts from the Nasher as you can. Part damage is indicated by yellow damage text. And so what we're going to do is go for whatever part that isn't broken. In this case, I'll go for the head. And then once we break it, I'm going to go for a different part we just broke the face so i'm gonna go for the leg sorry if the volume is a little loud i'll uh, definitely adjust it as we get into town broke the leg uh, hopefully get this arm here try and squeeze in there the arms are kind of hard to hit so all right that's broken we and i'm just kind of testing the part to see if it's broken um by hitting it and seeing if the damage text is yellow. That's a good way to figure out if something's broken or not. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna help you craft up additional armors and weapons in the early game instead of having to fight Nasher multiple times. I think it was prompted in the tutorial as well to on like how to activate the special which is um the sword shoots out these waves of energy and also if you reactivate you'll be able to use um a really long range dash on a cooldown and there we go i believe we're playing as cat now which is sick like that's such a cool concept we saw Moira, I believe, in the early cutscene, and now we get to play. Yeah, let's see it. Yep, that's her. There's dude. Cat looks so good. I'm gonna hide myself here. Beautiful. So cool. And now we get to make our own Slayer. All right. I'm going to skip through a lot of this. As far as 
uh i you know i've i've played through the tutorial quite a bit and i've probably played through like maybe seven eight maybe upwards of ten wipes throughout this game and so i'm just gonna select uh, a very general um preset this is the hair that i use in on my main account and the face and so we'll just we'll just send it we're gonna send it hopefully the uh we get more of that beautiful artwork all right it is snowy in ramsgate i'm excited they told me that they redid the entire, like, not the entire quest line, but a lot of the quest line, which is, um, so it's going to be the first time for everybody. It's going to be great. This cutscene is also in the, um, previous game. The bosun didn't want to tell us anything. Ooh, new quest pop. Quests are marked on your compass by a gold exclamation mark. Uh, speak with characters with exclamation marks to start your journey. All right, well. We just played his cat, and now she has a quest to turn in for us. Return to Katarin Sorel. All right, I'm gonna skip through the quest dialogue. Uh, I've, I'm sure a lot of it hasn't changed. So this gives us all of our recruit weapons. Yep. Now we can pick whatever weapon we want, except for the Aether Strikers or the Repeaters. The Repeaters and the Aether Strikers are unlocked at a later time. Weapons of choice, take a look at the weapon overviews. And so this is a good time to go over what all the different weapons, at least this very brief summary of uh, what all the weapons do. In Dauntless, there are, let's see, how many weapons now? We have, what, seven? So the sword is a very balanced um, jack of all trades weapons. It does moderate damage and has pretty much the answer to any behemoth. But, you know, you're never going to top out a, a blunt type weapon, which are kind of the strongest weapons in the game right now. Um, for general use, very strong. It is also my main weapon and my weapon of choice. The chain blades sacrifice pretty much everything for speed. However, they are with particular weapons. They are some of the most damaging weapons in the game. I would say right now these uh, weapons are very balanced as well they have very a lot in their toolkit and the ability to de to dish out a lot of damage um but if you're into that like ninja fantasy or the you know high speed high octane play style i recommend the chain blades the hammer is the uh the rock of the team you you go for the face you stagger behemoths you knock them over create an opening for your team and also deal insane damage and just recently with some of the new mods that were added into dauntless it added an extra level of party play that has one of the highest damage buffs in the game for your party at least the axe kind of fills the same role as the hammer it is a slow slashing type weapon that deals good stagger damage has good damage and also is based on a ramping mechanic called determination the more determination you have the more damage um, that ramp has with certain mods you can even push the determination level to even further normally it maxes out at three but there's a mod that will bring it up to four and I think at level four, it's like 75% additional damage. So you start like hitting like a truck. Um, the war pike is a more control type weapon, a more supportive type weapon. It is the only piercing weapon in the game. So you'll naturally be able to create wounds with this weapon. Wounding increases the part damage of your, you and your party. And so if you're looking to break some parts and be a little bit more, and why I say control type is because the shot or the special allows you to interrupt behemoths and it is a very reliable ability to do those interrupts. The repeaters are a short ranged. Um, it is it is a ranged weapon, but it is short ranged. They're more, more effective the closer you are to the behemoth. They, uh, they can be treated like shotguns and the repeaters are the only ranged weapon in the game they deal good damage and they're just a different play style um as far as 
I guess if you're like a, a light bow gun user, if you play Monster Hunter or um, if you like ranged weapons, go for it. Um, I don't really have much to say about the repeaters. I don't really play them too much and their play style is pretty, pretty straightforward. They have um, good party play capabilities, good damage, and um, yeah, a different play style. Now the Aether Strikers, the latest addition to the game are boxing gloves or you know gauntlets however you want to visualize them and this weapon is easily the best weapon in the game right now if you want, want a big powerhouse you know fast blunt weapon this is the weapon for you um I, a lot of people are playing them and so if you want to kind of spoil yourself and you know deal a lot of damage in the uh, early game you can definitely pick up the aether strikers i have a guide on the aether strikers i have a guide on a lot of these weapons but some of them are a little outdated so you can check those out on my channel as well that's gonna do it for the weapons let's uh let's movie uh movie Mo let's move on and we'll see what's next up i'm just gonna go in order as the game tells me to do stuff so um and then we'll talk about it as we get there. Wills Borman is the weaponsmith of Ramsgate. Let's see. Speak to weaponsmith Wills Borman about forging from the payment trophies. All right. Wow. It doesn't want us to craft anything. All right. Well, we can go to the bounty board. We can hunt a lesser Embermane and get it, get it going. Hey, they moved the bounty board. Nice. All right, so we go to Pursuit, Blaze Behemoths, Lesser Embermane. I'm going to do Private Hunt because I am on the Test Realm and I have no one to play with, so. This will be a solo act. I just picked up a Hunt Pass item. Hunt Pass is something we'll go over in the future as the game prompts us about it. Let's see, we got our Recruit Weapons. That's something I'll do while we wait for the Q to pop. Go ahead and equip a different weapon. Make sure you do that if you uh, haven't already and looking to play a different weapon. You know, uh, we actually have a uh, some different weapons. Like I said, my main weapon is the sword, but we'll actually go with the hammer. And um, I'll teach you guys about interrupts when we go into the Ember main hunt. So we just landed and it's hitting us with some more tutorials. Sprinting is left shift. I am playing on PC, that is worth noting. Um, so your buttons that are indicated here are gonna be different, but just know that there is a run button, there is a dodge button and also a jump button, but uh, that might vary based on what you're playing on. And it's what that was telling us is there is a stamina bar in the game and, and dodging costs stamina, sprinting costs stamina, and some attacks cost stamina. Um, as a side note, this map is really good for resources. There are resources all over the place that we'll be using in the future. And um, yeah, let's just get into the Ember main fight. Now, when you find a behemoth, you can hit a button and fire a flare into the air to let your team know that, hey, the behemoth is here. Embermane is a behemoth that has interruptible attacks, which are indicated by those orange prongs above its head. And when you hit an interruptible attack, it will send it onto the ground and give you a damage opening. Here, I'm still following my... Let me turn down the sound really fast. Sorry about that. The uh, thing I was going to say is when when I was doing the tutorial, I was going for our, all the different parts, trying to get as many parts as humanly possible. I'm still doing that with the hammer, and um, so far being pretty successful. We've broken quite a few of the legs, the horn. I'm going to go for these back legs now. And I'll try and get the tail if I possibly can. Actually not sure if the hammers can cut tails still. So there's a that interruptible attack I was talking about. It's going to do it again. With the hammer. Uh, hammer versus Embermane is a really strong matchup. Hammer's really good against Embermane. As a future note, there are multiple versions of the, uh, of the Embermane. 
you're gonna get a lot of uhs and ums because i have not done this before nor have i it, it's really hard to kind of like play and give meaningful information so yeah uh, so far dude i'm having so much fun with uh you know i've done this content a lot but the new tutorial has me pumped for like new players to uh be able to experience dauntless again dauntless is a good game you know it's free to play very low risk Ugh. you know you have handsome partners like me teaching you how to play you know no big deal so modest all right it's a dead ember main hell yeah it's got a slayer level that's good we've leveled up let's see if they teach you how to properly level up in mastery that's one thing that i feel like just kind of went swept under the rug uh is how to progress your slayer and how to um get your upgrades to a to a better spot um i have a guide on mastery and i'm gonna actually uh be uploading it here in the near future it's uh the fastest way to level it up as well as um you know most efficient and how to do it in general so we finished that quest we killed the ember main we'll uh go back to wills and see what the deal is we unfortunately didn't get that tail so we might not be able to craft some of the weapons which is a shame oh we did get a few tails nice now you might be wondering uh now's a good time to explain it um you get rewarded loot at the end of a hunt for not going down. If you have the um, deluxe version of the hunt pass, you can get additional uh, loot as well as just completing the hunt. You might get a few extra pieces of breaks or part breaks or something like that. Sometimes you get cells, sometimes you get something else. Um, so in this case, I didn't break the tail, but I got two. And so I imagine that's a scripted kind of thing where it's just like, hey, you can craft whatever weapon you want. And so the Ember Main weapons in general are very good at breaking parts. And so I'm going to make the sword. I really like sword. So you guys can't stop me. All right. I'm making the sword. Trophy on. All right. Craft any Ember Main weapon complete. And we got some more blaze orbs so we could actually upgrade that more if we wanted to. Which I'm going to once the game teaches me how to equip gear. Requires the completion of best defense, which I assume is the quest that we just got. Anyway. Gonna equip that. Dope. Sword mastery level one. I got some mastery level for crafting up this sword important to note once we get to the mastery portion of this guide uh hunt lesser boreas boreal epiphany helm boreal resolve chest armor dang they may, they're like setting us up love it all right time to pursue boreas we have our fire weapon we've equipped it and now we're gonna go fight a ice behemoth maybe they'll teach us what elemental affinity is or elemental um Basically, fire weapons do more damage to ice, and if I were to bring a fire weapon to a fire behemoth, it would deal less damage. That's kind of the gist of how the uh, the power score works for elemental type behemoths, and it's kind of like Pokemon. It's very, very common in video games, right? So, um, yeah. Luckily, we found a quick hunt for Boreas, so I don't need to cut to uh, cut to the fight but i'm gonna do it anyway so boreas is front and center right when we land and again the same concept applies i'm just gonna try and get as many breaks as humanly possible this is something that you're gonna want to do for the rest of your play time in dauntless you know get a break move on all right broke the horns like i said these weapons are really good at breaking parts highly recommend the sword if you're keen on it Broke the tail. Let's go for a leg. Now, Boreas is a behemoth that, over time, after taking some punishment, will encase itself in ice. 
and then spawn ads. These ads, killing the ads, rather, once you kill them, will give you a stack or a sprite that you can hit and it will deal additional damage to Boreas's armor. This is how you break the armor quickly, but you still deal minor amounts of damage by just hitting it and you can break it that way if you want to muscle through it. But for the most part, something that's not explained is, um, you know, you get a you get a stack or a buff and then you drop it on Boreas's armor. And for the most part, these early behemoths are not very difficult, right? They kind of just going through learning how to play the game. This is very much so the tutorial still learning the basics of the game. Broke that arm. Let's see. All that's left are these little skinny T-Rex arms that Boreas has, and they're really hard to break. So if I don't get them, I'm not going to be sore about it, but I'm going to try regardless. Nope, oh, that's a dead Boreas. Very fast, very quick. Just go for those parts. All right, we're back. We're going to run back to Moira, who gave us that Boreas quest, who is also the armor smith. And we'll uh, see what's up next. Crafting. Ah, yes, we need to craft the Boreas armor pieces. Not my favorite armor in the game, but it does look good getting us set up for the future i suppose let's see what i'm sure they want us to equip it if even if they don't i'm gonna do it anyway it has more more resistance than what i have i also don't even have a helmet on so i got sweet horns and a fuzzy chest just like in real life let's see wills back to wills and I'm kind of figuring out where to go. If you notice at the top of the screen, I'm spinning my camera around and there's a compass, right? And so I'm just looking for the exclamation marks on the compass. Pretty easy to figure out. I'm sure everybody has kind of noticed the compass at the top, but just in case. Slay lesser Drask and upgrade any weapon to plus one. Yeah, easy. Easy peasy. And let's go to crafting. Um, our sword is already at plus one and I'm gonna keep my ember main sword because I like breaking behemoth parts and the reason why the ember main weapon is very good at breaking weapon or breaking weapons breaking parts is because the seventh hit in a row deals 100% part damage that is a unique effect that not every weapon is going to have but every weapon that is um I guess worth something will have a unique effect that in this case is very good for the early game. Something to keep an eye on when you're crafting up new weapons, you know, just consult yourself. Think if, uh, Hey, this, this weapon might be pretty good. It deals a lot of extra damage or it has a, uh, you know, after X amount of hits, it's going to deal X amount of damage. All right. We're moving on to lesser Drask. Uh, one of the three, uh, lesser behemoths that the tutorial usually puts you against. Boreas, Embermane, and Drask are the three. And so I imagine after this, we'll kind of get a little bit more freedom to access more of the weapons and other stuff. But as always, I'm going to try and nail this into everybody's head. Always going for part breaks. Broke the face not too long ago. I got my special. I'm going to activate that. Set Drask on fire. Sword is very good at offering elemental status. So uh, chain blades are as well. Basically any fast weapon is going to be good at providing elemental status faster than say the axe or the hammer. Broke that leg. I'm going to try and cut the tail first before it dies. That'd be nice. Let's see. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Nothing. You ain't got nothing, Drask. You ain't got nothing. Again, these, uh, these behemoths are very easy to break up, so it's super worth going for the parts as much as possible because as, as you get into higher ranked you know drask there there are two different types of drask the lesser and the normal 
And when you get to the other one, the other one's not going to be so friendly. And so you're going to want to have some uh, Drass gear so you can fight against it reliably. Let's see, we broke that front leg. Let's go for the back. Oh, I couldn't get the back leg. That was the last thing that we needed. It was almost broken. You can see the part damage is really cut up, or the part is really cut up. Um, that's the only way you can really gauge when a when a break is going to happen. But there's no like part health bars. I've just fought these guys enough to to know what they look like when they're about to break. Moseying on back to Will's, I believe, who gave us this quest. Yeah, return to Will's Borman. I can read at the top right. That's something that's new. Is the uh, the quest legend there? It's nice. That's a nice addition. In case you forget what you did. Just not too long ago. If you're old like me. Alright. Slay Lesser Drask. Upgrade any weapon to plus one. Is complete. We got some shock orbs. We got some consumable items for potions. And some rams. Which don't really have a use at the moment. In the game. Other than, you know, upgrading weapons and stuff. Back to Moira. Meet with the armorsmith Moira Hygsketter to discuss upgrading your armor and slaying a quill shot. Hunt lesser quill shot. And we get a ton of elemental orbs. This is a great quest. Alright, hunt lesser quill shot. We're still on our way. I'm going to see if I can craft anything else. Maybe some Drass gear. Ooh, we can. Ooh, which do I want to craft? I'm not going to worry about upgrading or crafting anything new. At this moment, I'll get into a more, uh, I guess, more, a more, mm, I can't even think of the words, a set more tailored to how I like to play in the, in the future. But uh, for now, we'll just leave it. Quill shot is going to be the bane of your existence in the future. Quillshot is easily one of the harder behemoths when you enter in the late game. And so learning how it fights early will benefit you greatly. Um, it is a bully. And for the most part, neutral behemoths have this trait where they're like they're not very deadly when they're not enraged. But once they do get enraged, that's when they go Super Saiyan and start dealing a lot of damage. Quillshot is no exception to this rule. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to beat the crap out of it because it is a lesser version but i'm still going for those breaks we broke the uh the two tusks off the off of its face i'm gonna try and get um i think i'm gonna go for the tail actually now that i'm thinking about it dodge that there we go cut the tail Go for this back leg here. Um, but yeah, uh, when when Quill Shot enrages, it fires a ton of spikes out of its back. I don't know if we're gonna get to see that because I'm. Maybe I'll see if I can let it enrage. Doesn't seem like it wants to. It might not even enrage in this lesser form. But. Uh, we'll fight. We'll fight Quillshot and revisit um, its strategy in the in the future. I don't think I don't. I want to dive too deep into. This is how you beat a lesser behemoth. That just seems kind of redundant and pointless. So, but make sure you're getting those break parts and uh, cutting up the behemoths with uh, your weapon of choice. Running on back to Moira. Moira to upgrade my armor to plus one. That's what the quest says. All right, I am going to actually upgrade this. I like the Ember Main helmet, and I'm going to equip that. You cannot stop me. Upgrade a piece of armor from each slot to plus one. Ooh. Okay. So I'll upgrade because I'm feeling saucy. You know, heck it. Heck it, dude. I'm going to go for, let's see, evasion, fireproof. Meh, meh, meh. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do... 
Drass chest, Boreas gloves and boots, and Ember main helmet. That's going to be my go-to armor set thus far. You guys can feel free to follow along or craft whatever you think is interesting. Right now, the options are not really to my liking, but I like the Ember main weapon and I like the Ember main helmet. I'll probably keep those for a long time. Let's see, we've got quest complete and I'm going to guess we get sent back to Cat at this point. It makes sense to me. This is probably the end of the quote unquote tutorial. And uh, let's just see what Cat wants and I will confirm that. Go forth and slay. Yep, this is it. So the game is kind of divided into chapters. Go forth and slay is the first one. City on the Verge will be the next. And um, yeah, so go forth and slay is actually going to teach us a little bit more about the NPCs and the other um, customization options in Dauntless. But for now, this is where I'm going to end the video. We'll probably do one chapter every video. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun so far. This is the information that is given in the early game it before it bombarded the player and now i'm feeling much more comfortable just going through at your own pace and yeah it just feels like it's just better paced in general but that's gonna do it thank you guys for watching so much and um if you guys want to support the channel you can leave a like subscribe um use creator code Rebby red in the dauntless in game store and uh, that should do it for me oh i also stream so if you want to catch something like this live Feel free to uh, check it out in the description down below. Thank you, and I will see you on the Shattered Isles.